Tonight on Project Earth, the path forward, change is taking root at a prestigious California university. Scientists and researchers are boldly adapting the local landscape for a warming planet. And the strategies that they're harvesting could actually reap benefits for all gardens, including yours. Butterflies like this plant too. Nori Reinert's garden is an oasis on a hot day. Lush, green, festooned with flowers, buzzing with bees. Her game plan, learn what the plant needs and then continue to learn. Do the best you can. Sometimes I've had to move things because I thought I chose the right place and it turned out not to be true. However, gardens like Nori's, as well as landscapes around the state, are facing some new difficult lessons brought on by climate change, higher temperatures, more frequent heat waves, intense storms, and prolonged droughts. So we have entered unprecedented times when the weather has become much more extreme. Rachel Davis is a horticulturist at the UC Davis Arboretum and Public Garden. She is one of the many stewards who care for the living landscapes here that grace the campus. But instead of fretting over global warming, the UC Davis team is boldly embracing the challenge. We want to make big steps towards impacting um, our future to ameliorate what's happening with climate change. The university has adopted a plan to transition its current landscapes into a climate ready campus. Experts here know that by the end of the century, the Sacramento Valley is projected to have a climate more akin to Barstow or Tucson. About 32% of our tree canopy on campus won't be able to survive those conditions. So we have to start now. Trees often take the longest to grow. Once established, they provide shade as well as habitat. The canopy of trees on the Davis campus cools the walkways and roads and provides respite for all living creatures. It also includes one of the university's crown jewels, a historic oak grove, one of the largest and most diverse in the country. You can hear the birds in the background. You can see the animals interacting with the trees. So for me, it was my own kind of nature RX. To sustain a thriving canopy, the team is working on ways to conserve these valuable heritage trees. It's a little uneven. Are you OK for that? They're also okay. seeking to replace so, campus trees that are okay. bound to fail well, with climate ready ones. These trees were mostly collected from southwest Texas. On this stretch of land, the university is testing different varieties from a mountain range in Texas. Once the roots get established, no more irrigation. The conditions are harsh. This is really rough, nasty soil. <laughs> As the team waits to see which trees do best, Rachel has this advice for the rest of us. Please don't wait. We really want to emphasize drought tolerant gardening. The staff have tested many plants at the Arboretum and remote locations throughout the state. They came up with a list of 100 all stars, attractive plants that thrive in a warmer climate and attract pollinators. Gray colored leaves are a plus. This helps reflect the heat from the sun. As for Nori, she's a volunteer at the Arboretum and has cultivated many new lessons. She's gradually updating her garden, one plant at a time. I have things that bloom in the winter and they are wonderful. Her latest addition, a blue flowered cat mint. It's low maintenance, drought tolerant and simply perfect. The campus is also updating how it plants and uh, how its plants are irrigated. Additionally, they're restoring habitats for fish and bird populations and building a robust seed bank for California's most threatened native plants.